This morning, the countdown is on to the final countdown of 2023. Happy New Year! As the world ushers in another new year. Yeah, it's our first time seeing the ball drop. It's going to be amazing. An estimated 1 million revelers are expected to flood Times Square to watch the New Year's Eve ball drop. But getting in won't be easy. With heightened security in NYC and around the country amid ongoing tensions from the Israel Hamas war. We're not used to the crowds to this level, so we're glad to security around. Officials say there are no specific threats, but law enforcement are on alert after recent disruptions during NYC's Christmas celebration and Thanksgiving parade. Aside from being in your house, odds are good that nowhere safer will it be than in Times Square. Security will be beefed up at airports, bridges, tunnels, and even mass transit systems. Weather, of course, also a wild card, but the new year set to kick off fairly mild by winter standards. Across the country, many will experience a dry and quiet New Year's Eve. And while most of us will have to wait until midnight tonight, Christmas Island, part of the Republic of Kiribati, has already welcomed in the new year. Or you could celebrate twice by taking this United Airlines flight that departs Guam on January 1st and lands in Honolulu on December 31st. But back at NYC, this party is just getting started. Happy New Year! Yeah, and the NYPD will certainly have a presence here before, during, and after the ball drop. And this year, they've actually expanded their security zone around Times Square and tightly points, entry points will be tightly controlled, rather. But at this point, if you can't beat them, Allison, you might as well join them. Happy 2024. Back to you. George Solis, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.